Cradle of Filth with their new song here in 2015, Right Wing of the Garden Triptych. This is off of a forthcoming album that's going to be coming in July, entitled Hammer of the Witches. And i got to say, I really like this album title choice. I like the fact that they decided to go with this, because... Say the phrase, Hammer of the Witches, and firstly, knowing Cradle of Filth's past, knowing their love for concept albums, you can kind of perhaps tell a little bit where this album may be going, conceptually speaking. But then whenever you also think about some of the pantheon of great albums that are out there in the heavy metal universe, doesn't this just sound like... Doesn't this just sound like an album title that really belongs? Isn't it one that just sounds like it has all the potential in the world and it's really just up to the band to, you know, maybe not reach those heights? Well, Cradle of Filth will be going on album number 11, so it's not like they don't have greats. They definitely do have some good ones. And this song uh, definitely ushers in a bit of a brand new age that is more of a throwback to their past than it is their more current work. The song itself is roughly about six minutes in length and now features twin dueling guitar melodies, which is something that's been absent from the band's previous couple of releases, which have been able to hold their own uh, pretty well, uh, all things considered, but whenever you think about it, just kind of didn't hold that big of a candle or that bright of a candle to some of the elder materials. So whenever you listen to this track, the one thing and the first thing that you're going to be introduced to is the new female voice of this band, and that's the Lindsay Schoolcraft, uh, who also plays keyboards. And this is a nice addition. She's got a very, very nice voice, something that supplements the band uh, extremely well. And we'll harken back to the days of Sarah Jezebel Deva way back in the day, whenever uh, she was the main uh, female helm at this band. And Danny Filth's voice... I don't know how it continues not to break, how it continues not to just collapse, either that or how he's able to continue to do that which he does. He has a true gift whenever it comes to his sinister howls, and he's also a talented pensmith uh, in the fact that his lyricism always seems to have a grandiose amount of detail to it, not to mention a very poetic vibe uh, throughout its description and throughout also its singing process. He's a a man who's able to take very antiquated verse and really give it a lot of potency and a lot of punch here in 2015 where antiquated verses of old usually in, uh, require some form of terrible reading in an AP lit class that no fuck likes to do anymore. But at any rate, this track itself has a lot of grand elements to it, but I will say this, I kind of want to hear a little bit more from this album before I immediately solidify it as Cradle of Filth returning to true form. Uh, the Manticore and Other Horrors was a decent enough album, but whenever you want to consider a full-scale return for Cradle of Filth, you want to see uh, just a grand amount of diversity. And this is a track that is a little bit more uh, toward the formula side as, as far as their writing is concerned. There is definitely a, a elongated vo uh, verse and then a main choral point uh, a real, I guess, real cycle that's being used on this track. Once again, the, the, the poetry and the lyricism really aids very well toward this song, giving it a whole lot of flavor and character. It's certainly one where Danny Filth is barely taking a breath half of the darn time whenever he's singing on this track, and the music that is uh, behind it is still just as unsettling and really very much mood uh, altering as you would kind of expect from these guys. Really getting to this point in your career, a uh, Cradle of Filth is not going to be left with very many in the way of surprises to offer uh, not only new listeners but also old ones, though for new listeners the surprise will just be hearing the shit for the first time and recognizing uh, what exactly that they've gotten themselves into. This is a band that is not surprising as many people as they used to because more and more people have discovered them, know what they're all about about and kind of know what to expect. Overall, though, this song has a very nice pattern to it. It's one that definitely uh, showcases that the band still has the capability to write something that's very solid and feels like it can, that's it, very deserving that this band is mentioned among the pantheon of English great bands such as Iron Maiden. Yeah, people have actually done that and it's actually a fair assessment whenever you consider it. Iron Maiden is a pioneer of the new wave of British heavy metal and heavy metal in general and then you have Cradle of Filth which for Britain is certainly one of their most qualified and probably one of their best 
extreme metal uh, outputs that they have really kind of given to the world. So this song definitely has a lot of the correct characteristics to really give fans a really strong feeling about Hammer of the Witches. And really, like I said, with as great of an album title as that is, whenever you consider the pantheon of other great albums, this is one where the only way that this is going to turn out poorly is if the band just can't deliver the goods. But I have a great feeling about this, is I suppose what I'm saying. I have a terrific feeling that this album will be able to deliver the goods, not to mention give us a whole heck of a lot more. And I think that the additions that the band has made at the guitar duties, as well as the addition of Lindsay Schoolcraft, is only going to work to really boost this band and really give them the extra oomph that they really require to perhaps turn a couple of heads once again here in 2015 in July, whenever this is released. Now, have you guys heard this song? Uh, what do you guys think about uh, Right Wing of the uh, Garden Triptych? Let me know in the comments below. I, for one, give it a positive review. I feel that it was a strong catalyst to really drive all of these great thoughts about what June, or should I say July the 10th is going to be like. Uh, but I want to know what you guys think about it. I want to know what you guys think about this track. Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited for this new for this new Cradle of Filth record, or is it just a band that's no longer on your radar? Let me know.